We've been working with natural skin drum heads here at Sounds Like a Drum for a really long time, and since the last time we did a deep dive on it, we've made some really interesting discoveries, including one that flies in the face of pretty much everything we double down on here. Today, we're gonna share them. We've spent a tremendous amount of time working with natural skin drum heads in the past few years, and today we want to share some discoveries that have shown up along the way, including one that flies in the face of pretty much everything we double down on here. Today, we're coming back to our favorite, the Kentville Kangaroo Hide drum head on the batter here, along with regular snare side for us and pretty standard wires as well. There are still lots of myths and fallacies and ideas surrounding natural skin drum heads out there in the forums and in the general drumming world. For us, it's a wonderful sound and a really special feel, and sometimes it's exactly what you want, regardless of what kind of drum you're using. In the course of experimenting with them and trying and going for different sorts of sounds, we've had a lot of really fun surprises along the way, and one that actually really freaked me out very recently that I really want to get into today. Before we jump into all of that, let's hear how this drum is sounding today at this tuning. It's worth noting out of the gate that you may be wondering what's so special about a drum head like this, since for all intents and purposes, this sounds like a snare drum. It's not, you know, from outer space or anything like that. That's exactly what we're gonna talk about right now. The first thing we're gonna dive into is that we utilize drums like this all of the time with standard heads. It's just a snare drum. But when you change to a batter head of this nature, natural skin, you're dealing with a fibrous material rather than something really homogenous across the board like it is when you're using a normal plastic head. This is gonna affect everything about the way that the drum feels and behaves and has some effects on the tuning capabilities of it as well. Let's get into the elephant in the room. We're actually talking about the snare side head today and specifically the capabilities inherent in the tuning of that head when you use a natural skin batter. We talk all the time about not over tensioning the snare side head, not cranking it up, and all of the things that you lose when you do that. And today we're offering up a surprising fact, which is that you can crank the head on the snare side when you are using a natural skin head like this much higher than we would ever choose to do in a normal tuning and head scenario. The first thing that we run into when we do that with a drum that has standard heads on both sides, plastic heads, is pitching it up causes us to have really alarming amounts of both fundamental and overtone sustaining for a really long time from the batter head. This is the first thing that people often say to me when they're frustrated with their sound and they're turning to tremendous amounts of muffling. But as you can see, there's no muffling on this drum and we have the bottom head tuned significantly higher than I normally would. To give you a sense of exactly what I'm talking about here, let's listen to the batter and the snare side heads on their own with the wires off. This is not to say that we can't utilize a lower tuning on the snare side of this drum, but normally I wouldn't consider going this high on that bottom head because of things like the overtones that I just mentioned that clearly we don't need to muffle for here because we're getting a really usable sound, even if we play something pretty dynamic toward the edge of the head.
This means that at a given tension on the batter head, we have a much wider range to experiment with on the snare side, and it can get us a lot of really fun behaviors that we wouldn't otherwise have access to. The next thing we run into when cranking the snare side head, when we're using a synthetic batter, is choking behavior in the snare wires that leads us to loosening them which means we lose articulation and we also have a lot of wild noise from the wires, whether it's from playing on the snare or from crosstalk from the rest of the kit. With a natural skin head on this drum and tuned the way that it is, even now with a very tight snare side head, I have a lot of options for how tight or how loose I want to have the wires and it's behaving beautifully through the whole range, including frankly if I tighten them so much that they do legitimately start to choke the drum out. Right now I have the wires tightened to the point where they're just on the edge of actually choking out the drum. Let's listen to a single stroke roll from super quiet to pretty loud and back down again. You can see how it opens up as we bring the dynamics in and doesn't choke at any point. I particularly love having the wires this tight for really low volume groove playing that includes a lot of ghost notes and rolls and things like that. And I can really get away with a lot of articulation at a low volume with the drum setup with this type of head and a shockingly tight snare side. The third point I want to make is a little, eh, we'll, we'll call it a little more anecdotal, and it has to do with the actual physical feel of hitting a drum that's set up the way that this one is. People talk a lot about calf being forgiving or cushy or warm or all of these wonderful descriptive words that don't exactly mean anything. However, if I choose to play this drum in the center, perhaps even with the butt of the stick, the feel of playing into it with the snare side head pretty tight is wonderful. It's warm and all those words I just said, but here, have a listen. Considering the alternative, if we were using synthetic heads on both top and bottom, you can get a really good feel, but with the snare side tuned this high on a drum with synthetic heads on both top and bottom, you're not going to get this kind of feel and sound and also this wonderful warm and dry articulation in the center like this. There's no drum head that will do absolutely everything, but there's also nothing that does exactly what a natural skin head will do. It's really worth experimenting with, and it's particularly fun now that we're discovering that it opens up possibilities on the snare side head as well. It's not just a, oh, I bought this thing, set it and forget it kind of thing. For anybody out there concerned about the price tag of heads like this or the durability of heads like this, what I can tell you is that the ones that I have have outlasted probably dozens of synthetic heads. And at the end of the day, that kind of longevity and having this sound and feel in your back pocket that you can pull out, throw on your drum and have immediately, it is well worth it. Every time you approach a new drum or a new drum head or a new setup of any kind, remember, let's try to start from scratch and experience that thing in a vacuum rather than bringing our preconceived notions about what it's capable of, what it can do to bear and possibly get in the way of discovering new, interesting and amazing capabilities that we couldn't possibly have predicted. Mm -hmm.